Alright ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the island. I hope that you're doing good today. I am doing fantastico myself. Just watching our villagers here, trying to figure out... We built the this thing, which is an iron farm. Looks terrible at the moment, we'll fix it. Um, but we built this in the last episode. And uh, it's working, it is working. I'll show you the outcome in a minute. Uh, but it's rather slow. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Really? I thought we had less. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Huh. Alright. Um, so yeah, this thing is producing iron golems, although very slowly. Uh, there were some concerns and stuff in the comments that this design didn't work anymore. Well, I tell you, you're wrong. It's working fine. Let me show you. Uh, we've actually got quite a bit of iron, but I've been AFKing for a while. Like for two days, where I was out of town. Um... But we do, we do have a bit of iron. Uh, just want to say thank you so much for the support and love still in this series. I love my island series. I really love this world and I'd really love to share it with you. And we had a little bit of a rough patch where the views went down and all that. And that seems to be picking up again. So I'm very happy about that. Uh, I'm going to do my absolute best to try and try and make the videos good. Where am I going? I shouldn't go here. Um, today, what we're going to do, we're going to take that iron if I can find where it is. Go back up here. We're gonna take the iron that we have made and we're gonna try and see if we can finish the storage system. Uh, it's gonna require a lot of iron though, um, or the sorting system I should say. It's gonna require a lot of iron, but I think we may have enough. That's one chest and then there's a little bit more over here. Um, so quite a bit. So what we need to do is craft the things up. Um, we're gonna need, I've calculated this and I've done a lot of like comparators, I've done repeaters, uh, redstone torch eye. We're gonna need three hoppers, one comparator, one repeat, uh, two re redstone dust and one redstone torch on each uh, sorting cell. And then we have 66 of those, so that's 198 hoppers, which is the scary part. So let's see if we can do this. Uh, I've made, I've, I've cut down a lot of wood and I've done a lot of chests. Uh, per hopper stack, it's gonna require five. So one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. We should have enough, actually. I didn't think we would when I was looking at this, but that should actually be enough. Wow. Uh, that's only for the for the uh, for the sorters, though. We're still gonna need a lot of hoppers to do the item belts and all that. Iron is such a thing that you really need, or if you're making a sorter machine, you really need. Uh, a lot of iron. You do really need an iron farm. But I'm happy that it worked. I'm just... I'm a little bit shocked. I thought I would have more iron since I did go AFK for like two full days. Um, anyway, today if I have the video, if everything works out well today, it should be a Monday episode today. So I hope that you've had a good weekend. If not, it's probably a Tuesday episode and I still hope that you had a good weekend. Makes sense. There we go. We actually have enough iron. That's interesting. Okay. Um, I hope they had a good weekend. I had a fantastic weekend. I've done some traveling lately uh, on, on my weekends and seeing the world and stuff and uh, um, ha had a good weekend. I was over in England this weekend and uh, yeah, checking out the country of England. I'm, I f went back on the flight yesterday and started to feel British in my pronunciation. So if I do speak a little bit weirdly British on some certain pronunciations, that's probably because, because of that. Um, anyway... Did I not bring... <laughs> oh, jeez. I brought the... I didn't bring the stone bricks. Um, I want to finish this storage or sorting system because at the moment, up in our jungle and up in everything that we're doing outside um, on the island is very messy. There's starting to become chests everywhere and uh, just things scrambled and scrambled eggs and other things. And it's just it's just annoying at the moment. So want to get it done. want to try and make it... Um, to a, to a point where I can just shove everything into my sorting system and it goes in and everything is working and everything is fantastic. And I mean, we are in it like episode 45 or 44 or something like that. And I think we started this at episode like five. So definitely overdue. Uh, okay, so let me show you what I need to do. I'm going to go ahead and place a lot of these off camera, obviously, because this is going to take a little bit of time. But if we remember, we should go over here on this side. Um... All of these chests, for those of you who are new to this series, they are what we set up to be auto-sorters. And these things in the back here is my deep storage design, deep storage units, which I'm really happy about, actually. Um, so what we need to do, we have... I've fitted, if I remember correctly, can we, can we get up here? If I remember correctly, I managed to fit... 
yes, with two different rows per line. Uh, top, sor top sorters and bottom sorters. And I wonder what would be the easiest way to do this. Because they are pretty squeezed in, as you can see. Um, this is one storage cell and or sorting cell, and that's another one. And I keep falling down everywhere. Hold on. Let me go back up here. There we go. Um, I think it's easiest if I put the lowest ones first. So we're going to go with a hopper there. Continue that along. And then a hopper like that. Is my sound down on blocks? It is a little bit down. Okay, cool. Um, and then we're going to come over top here. Ah, oh, jeez. Who built this place, I wonder? No organization whatsoever. Yeah, okay. That's that's fantastic. That that doesn't have to do anything with organization. That's just me being bad at Minecraft. Um, okay, so th them hoppers are facing into the chests. And then we're going to have... Um, we're going to place hoppers like that. We're going to have a line of bricks like that. And... Redstone torches, like so. These redstone torches are going to freeze. I did explain this in a previous episode, so I'm not going to be super explaining now. But these redstone torches are basically going to freeze the input to the chest, which is these hoppers. And they're going to be frozen until we get an item match. And we get an item match by having this next section, which requires the comparator. Let's go ahead and place that. And then comparator on top, like so. And we fill it in with hoppers. Hopper, hopper. Um, and then we have our item belt, which is this thing, which I haven't calculated the hoppers for, by the way, so that's <laughs> that's extra. Uh, and that item belt goes on top, and then we have the next layer on top here, as you can see, it's the same thing. We have the torch, comparator, repeater. Uh, then what we need to do is also connect this up with redstone, so we'll have a line like this. Um, and basically what's going to happen is once this hopper here, that's compared, reaches a certain amount of items... This here is going to turn on the redstone down below, which is going to turn on the repeater there, which is going to unfreeze the uh, redstone torch and allow things to pass through. Uh, again, these are the standard like Minecraft vanilla item cell, storage cell sorting units, uh, and I did explain them before. So if you missed that episode, please do go back and watch it, because I did explain it very well. Um, but I have a lot of hoppers and repeaters and stuff to, to place down, so I will do that. Um, and hopefully we have enough hoppers to go all the way around. So I'll do that, and then I will come back to you. All right, I've finished the first segment here with uh, placing these hoppers and these um, item filters. I haven't put anything to filter, but I wanted to try if this works, because I realized uh, we haven't really tried this. Because I have them so close together, there may be some redstone that interferes with each other. Um, so, just creating a little bit of a fake... Or temporary item belt here. Uh, items gonna come in here and they're gonna travel all the way this way and then they're gonna go down, go back, and travel this way. Um, and then at the moment they will just freeze here. Um, so let's see if we can filter something, shall we? Yes, we shall. Uh, let's try the following. Let's say that this chest over here will put a filter in for redstone torches. Um, and I can't remember, I think it's like 18, possibly. Yeah, it's 18. Okay, wait. Put 18 there and that there. So whenever a redstone torch passes over, it allows it to go through. Um, as long as we don't send stone bricks, that filter will actually work. Um, and the reason that happens again is because uh, this is 1, uh, 19, 20, 21, 22. The 23rd item will light this redstone, which unfreezes the torch underneath. Um, so we'll try that, and then we will have something else in the bottom. Although, uh, we need to block these up, don't we? Because otherwise, everything will get filled. Ah, didn't think about that. Okay, let me just block these up quickly. There we go. I blocked them up. Um, we'll go down here, and we will say... Uh, let's just do this one. We'll say bone meal, for example, and then we'll do the same thing. So that, and then we'll count up to 18, like so. And now, what we should see happening is bone meal. Oh, actually, we need to block these up as well. Do that quickly. Like that. We just don't... We can't send stone bricks, basically. Anything else we can send. And the reason these doesn't go through, again, is because the redstone isn't allowing it to do so. Right. So, we have that there. We got the other thing on the top. Uh, technically, 
we should be able to now where's the filter that i set up there okay we need to block this up as well like so and what is this this is spruce okay cool um so if we put in seven four redstone torches four redstone torches and then we'll put in uh 16 bone meal sure why not uh, and then we'll also put in six hoppers um, now what should happen is the torches should be going down here in this chest array uh, the top one there and the bone meal should be going into this chest array here and i forgot to do filters no and the, the hoppers then should be here yes there's the hoppers okay cool so let's go down and check that out oh we got a thunderstorm. I might want to run over and see if we can get a charged creeper. Um, let's see. So, one of these. Should have calculated this or should have counted this. There we go. Six redstone torches went into that chest. And we should have bone meal like here. There we go. 14 bone meal. Uh, the reason it wasn't 16 is because two are stuck in the hoppers behind, I'm sure. Yep, there we go. That's completely normal. Um, so that's perfect. That's working then. I'm glad because I was afraid that we have like the redstone on the bottom would block the redstone on the top, etc. But I, I was pretty sure that I had measured it out correctly as well. Um, so now basically all I have to do is continue that same pattern um, all the way around. So the next thing I'll do is I'll go over here. Uh, the item belt I haven't quite figured out. We have this big item belt in the back that goes around like that uh, and that's for the deep storage and we want all the items to pass through that first um, because of the cobblestone and that clogging up the system and ooh, we are clogged up with sugar cans here that's not good uh, yeah so we want all that to go through and then we want the item belt to start over here and then we'll wrap it around and then wrap it back out there will be a lot of hoppers and i'm a little bit scared that my frames will be affected and things but um, I know that performance should be better in 1.9 as well with redstone, so hopefully we should be all good. Uh, what did I do here? Oh, I've been slacking. I haven't placed the top chests. Dang it. Okay. <laughs> I'll have to do that as well and go and chop down some more wood. Um, I am a little bit tempted to go over to my um, um, charge creeper area thing. And see if we can get a charge creeper though. So I think I'll do that and I'll chop down some wood as well. Um, and then finish this off. And I'm out of hoppers. Wow. How could I miscalculate that so badly? Um, I must have missed like... I think I'm going to need a double amount of hoppers. Um, so quick little update. I've done this side. This side we did together. Then I've done this side now. Um, so you can see all of these are placed. We still need to do the item filters though. Um, and I still need to do the belts. Um, but yeah, we're, we're gonna require a lot more hoppers. How could I miscalculate that so much? That's crazy. Um, but I did do the chests and I did fill that in. Did uh, do some more spruce, sprucity shopping, chopping, shop, chopping? Yeah, sprucity chopping. Um, let's see. I think hmm, I probably have enough to do two more stacks of that. Uh, of the hoppers um <clears throat> yeah it's gonna be so great to just get this done get this installed and just be able to start collecting iron for no other purpose than uh, just making beacons and things and stuff like that um but it is a little bit of a grind i noticed as well that it's it, it it's terrible if i place the top layer first of the thing then uh, um yeah everything takes so much longer so if you do this by yourself make sure that you're clever <laughs> unlike me like let's sure that you make sure that you're clever about uh which order you place the things in because it's a little bit hard to reach and stuff um but anyway i'm gonna do some more hoppers i'm gonna continue to place this and hopefully we have enough to to get this thing rolling i doubt it though this is gonna be yeah this is gonna be cutting it very very close um but we'll see I think now we have everything installed. All the hoppers are placed. And I'm just ahead, uh, going ahead and naming cobblestone into filter. Because um, now what we need to do is to put a filter in all of these. And I'm going to drop off hoppers. I'll put them there. Even have 16 to spare. So that's fantastic. Uh, I'll show you what I did. I did the item belt as well. So we have... 
the items are going to come in this way and they're going around to the deep storage and first we filter out diorite, granite, andersite, cobble then it goes around, filters out um, smooth stone, brick, dirt and clay continues around, that's a lot of hoppers and it does sand, gravel and this one here is nothing it's not even connected there as you can see so we have one slot in the deep storage and then the netherrack um, and I'm going to add overwrites things to these um, once uh, once we start using this. I uh, <laughs> I can't remember if I showed you this, but I did do a design. Wow, that was, that was very weird how I just lost pace there. Uh, I did do a design here where basically if the deep storage unit gets full, it'll start pumping it out to lava. Um, and this works beautifully. It was a while ago, but I can always add them. Um, but we'll do that later. Anyway... Then the item belt will come around like this. It goes on the over top here and then go, wraps around. You can see I have all the item cells installed and goes back down here. And then I made it drop down and I tested this out because um, I drop it down here and I made sure that it wasn't facing redstone or anything. Uh, you can see that this hopper is facing this way. That doesn't really matter because it will always go the way it's facing and then down. So it will go down there. And then it wraps around and behind this brick, I have the item belt coming on this side. And it basically just snakes, comes out here uh, and goes on the bottom row and then all the way over there. And at the moment we have an output of things that don't sort will be in this large chest here for now. We're going to bring that down. We're going to have like a, an overflow chest um, that, we are, that we can access from the storage room. Looks very messy at the moment, doesn't it? <laughs> But I'm definitely going to clear that up once I'm all done. Now what we got to do is install the filters. And that's why I did the cobblestone. So what I'm going to do is... Uh, let's see. Can we... Boop. Yeah. Um, I'm going to start with these bottom ones. And I did check them. Yeah. So what we have to do... Let's just double double C. Double C. Hello. Let's just double C. Yeah. This is the one I started with. Okay. So let's get up here. And I'm going to walk around. And we're going to input in this one is jungle wood. So I have jungle wood. And then we are going to use these filter, right, filter named cobblestone. And the reason I've named them is um, because then as long as we don't input an item called filter and that is cobblestone into the system, um, we shouldn't have any issues. The, the filter should just work. Uh, and there will be a lot of junk, I suppose, in these as well now. But yeah, so it's 18 there. And then this one was the jungle wood or jungle planks. Another hopper. And we'll just I'll just continue this all the way around. Um, it's going to take me a little while here, so I'll definitely do this off camera, but just so you get an idea. We got wool here, and I'm so excited now. I'm starting to get very excited because this is actually very close to done now, finally. It's been standing here for half a year, but hey, we finally got it done. I spoke about that as well in the last episode of my incompatibility thing to complete projects and stuff. Uh, but yeah gonna go ahead and do all this and I oh I did put them in an order now I've kind of messed it up haven't I yeah I have okay I think it was oh four there um I think this one was the eyes doesn't really matter we can always change them on the other side uh this was our test that was our control we can remove that now and just do that all right anyway I'll do this and I'll come back to you in a moment Oh, I'm so very close to completing this. Um, I messed up badly as well. Halfway through, I accidentally cleared my inventory of my filter stones. Uh, and of course, there was a hopper underneath. So they went into the hopper and, and they... Um, if, you put, if you would put filter items in, they would remove the first item. Um, and yeah, it just went best as I had to redo half of the thing. Um, but it's almost done. I just have the granite, stupid, no, sorry, diorite, and then the granite, and this should be it, and then we can test run this baby. I'm so very excited to get this done, finally. Again. There we go. Boom. Okay. Alright, I think we have it. These are all filled. Oh, okay. These are all filled as well. Yep, got sticks there. Good. Okay, let's try it out. Um, what should happen is that items that filter should go into their chest and items that we don't have any filter for should go into the overflow chest. Where do I get out? I know I have a staff and try and everything, but I think I need to get out of here. Um, 
Look at this room, by the way, <laughs> broken quarters. I'm gonna have to clear it up here in a second. Um, but yeah, everything should be fitted. I have to move these around a little bit because I messed up. The ones that I don't have any filters in at the moment, I just blocked up with uh, five filter stones like that in the hopper. Uh, and that should do the trick, hopefully. Uh, and let's just put these away here for now. Okay. Um, so let's see. Let's try filter some glass. Well, don't really can't really see that. Let's filter slime walls. Yes, let's leave one in there. This is where it messed up, by the way, filter. Um, let's leave one in there and let's filter through. Actually, let's leave more. Let's do seven of those. So we should have eight in that top row, top space when we're done. And let's also maybe do uh, something that we don't have too much of. Flint. Can move this around as long as we leave one there and then we can just measure it so we'll have six of those actually seven let's let's make it consistent here and then maybe gold blocks wow we have a lot of we have a lot of gold blocks uh let's do the same thing then one two three four five six seven all right and quartz yes let's do quartz seven and we'll leave one there good Take that out. Uh, there will be some stones and stuff in these now, but that's just because I, when I broke the stones on top. Uh, let's also do something over here. Maybe diamond blocks, diamond ores. Seven, one, like that. All right, and let's do this as well. You got to try them out properly so that you don't, so that you haven't messed up and you never find out where. Um, okay, so basically, basically. Basically, we should just be able to shove the, these in here, close the chest, and this item elevator again will stop working once um, we update to 1.9, so we'd have to upgrade it, but for now, it's super cool, look at all the stuff. I love watching them, them item elevators, I'll, I'll miss them so much. Uh, okay, so we did the slime balls first, we should see them coming in here first. Um, we got to be a little bit careful as well when opening chests because some of these are trapped This is a trap chest and when we open that we actually freeze the redstone now that doesn't matter They will be just bunch up in the hopper behind them, but we won't be able to see them flow through um, But since this is a regular one we should just be Any moment now Seeing them come through actually saying that it will take quite a bit of time because it needs to travel around and around um, while that is sorting let's see if we can start to plan out or consider how we want this output chest oh you know what this ain't gonna work ah dang it right uh, <laughs> that's not gonna work let's do this let's steal you for now i haven't connected these up uh, we need to clear out this chest um, put that in here and i need to connect that hopper up there so i'll do that real quick oh jeez. okay i'll do that real quick and i come back to you Boom, like that, and sugarcane went in, and we saw the die right there as well, okay. Um, so I think the things are flowing through. It's very messy up here at the moment though. But this was our old overflow chest, and as you can see, some of the things like cacti, we had the cacti farm, um, sugarcane, we obviously made the sugarcane farm, and that's been running great. We have a bunch of cacti, holy smokes, okay, grab that. Um, so now this should be flowing this way and then around so we should be seeing things coming through here No slime walls. Okay. What about this? Yes, there we go seven and We will lose out one the first time we run run it through the system because it will be locked behind the chest um, So when we do this with diamonds, for example, we'll lose we'll lose one diamond um, won't really lose it, just be stuck in the system. That's normal. So that worked. What else did we do? We did quartz. That's not come through yet. Diorite. Not come through yet. That's a little bit scary. <clears throat> That's a wrong sort. Okay. Um, I think it should have come through by now. What we should do then is check the... Where do we have the overflow chest at the moment? It's over here. It's just a hopper. Okay. Let's put a chest there for now. Um, if it doesn't come through, I have to troubleshoot and see where it got stuck or where it was sent. Because it should it's definitely... It has landed somewhere, <laughs> I would think. Otherwise, this is really slow. We did do the gold blocks, though. So, uh, what about this? We did the coal. No. 
can't remember which we did. That would be a good thing to remember. Hmm. We did diamond blocks. Oh, jeez. Okay. Uh, let me see where they are stuck. If I can find it. Oh, here we go. Some of these items we definitely sent through. Slime balls. That was an empty filter. Um, wasn't all of it, though. Uh, that's a little bit scary. Okay, but the gold blocks made it. So I started looking uh, for the next chest and I found that. And I can see that something is messed up there. So let's go up and check that. Let's bring some filters. Maybe I forgot this one here. Um, still worried about the diamond blocks, though. Hello, where, where are my diamond blocks? Um, we'll find out. Hold on. Get up here. And, wow, this is so messy, and I'm just about to make it messier. Mark Messier was a hockey player, by the way. New York Rangers, good one. Good guy. Very messy. No, I'm just playing. Okay, there we go. We found we found a lot of junk in that chest. Okay, so, um, pick that out, and we'll put in the filters again. I'm not sure. Must have missed that. Cool. But that's why we test things, right? So let's do another run through then. And I'm gonna... I'm, I'm so sure that this will work. So I'm gonna do the diamond blocks again. Um, and five slime balls this time. And seven flint. There's probably two slime balls um, in, the, in the buffer of this chest as well. Which I'm not too bothered about. They will come down as we start to have a filter there. Uh, it's also good to have a few filters empty because we're gonna need it. Like, for example, we're not filtering dark oak at the moment, so I, I may want to find a space for that. Um, I got wool there. Or glass. I could switch glass over to there. The reason I did it this way, I remember, is because I wanted colored and colored. And then I guess I didn't do the same with wool. I think I just said that I'll put the things in the same thing. The things in the same thing. But yeah, there are a few things that are pretty essential that we don't filter at the moment. Um, let's grab some more steak while we're at it. Okay, so we ran them through again. Let's see if they've made it now. We did the diamond blocks, right? So let's check them. Still not come through. Okay. No worries yet. Um, slime balls not come through. Did this? Oh, quartz. Well, boom. Put that in. Let's just double check so that this is shooting it up. It is. Or quartz blocks. There we go. Good. Um, yeah, it's just, I, mm, it's just a matter of waiting. Now there's a redstone torch in there. Still nothing though. Okay, let's just see. That's empty still. This one is still empty. I would have thought that they would have come through by now, honestly. What about the diorite? Nope. Still nothing, so something is definitely broken here. Uh, I'm gonna try and send through coarse dirt, because that's before gold blocks, so that should definitely make it. Um, and if that makes it, I know that the problem is between those two, so there's one of these cells. We can go up and watch it at the same time. Um, I don't really get it, though. It, it, it should work right now. Ooh, the slime balls has come through. I didn't find any issues. Maybe I was just impatient. Diamond block still hasn't come through though. Dang it! Those are the most important things! <laughs> um, Diorite hasn't come through as well, or either. What about the coarse dirt? Yes, the coarse dirt has come through, all of it. Okay. Um, maybe the filter didn't work. I'm not sure what's wrong. Hi, bat. Get out of here. Idiot. I don't like bats, you know that. Um, that rhymed. I don't like bats, you know that. Okay, did we get anything in the output chest? No. Ah, jeez. Come on now. System. Work. So the slime balls made it, and that's all the way over here, like at the very end streak. Uh, so something... They must have gone somewhere, This the diamonds and that. Aha! They're stuck in the top chest. They're in the right filter, but they're stuck here. That's interesting. Um, is this a trapped... That's a trapped chest. Hmm. So that means that the hopper underneath that chest must be frozen. Um, that's this one here. This hopper is frozen by that torch. That makes sense. 
But as we send the things through, they should, this hopper should, or this redstone tour should go off. Um, allowing them to send them through just like with the other ones. That's interesting. Okay. I'm going to have to research that and find that out in between episodes, I think. Um, but the filter's working anyway. <laughs> Dang it. That's scary. I was sure that we spaced these out correctly and all that. Um, but okay. I'm going to have a look at that in between episodes. I need to probably um, wrap the episodes up here, though, because uh, I've been spending like four hours on this now and I'm out of time, unfortunately. And my voice is completely gone. I don't know why. Um, but I'll find that out. I'll figure out what's wrong with it. It should work, really, with the trap chest as well. So if you've got any ideas, please do let me know. But that's going to do it for today. I'm going to have to clean this up, find out the issue. Clean this up, by the way. It's simple. No, that's not really how we do. Got to clean this up, do that, and then we can go with smooth there. Yeah. Um, but anyway, that's going to do it for today. I hope that you have enjoyed this episode. A little bit frustrated there that it didn't work the way I thought it would. But hey, um, I guarantee you that we'll fix it. Uh, if you did like the video, hit the, hit the video button. No, hit the like button down below. And thank you so much for uh, your support in this series. And I will see you in the next episode.